That is a stunning piece of wood. I would have never thought in a million years that that would there have ended up coming out. I didn't see it very well because the it's so shiny the uh, lights reflect off of it. But I took that bit. So this is the project, um, I'm calling it my prehistoric bowl as you can see from the title. The reason being is because um, it's old, chunky and rough around the edges just like me. So. So, yeah, so, um, yeah, nothing else to say really, it's failed, no good. <laughs> so, I'll see you guys next week, fresh new project, one that works, and take care, speak to you soon, and bye for now. <laughs> Let's try that. God almighty, you change one thing and everything goes to push. Anyway, good evening everybody. Hope you're all well. Thank you very much for coming over and joining us um, for our Friday Night Live. Let's bring the guys in. Terry's still a bit poorly, so Terry's not with us tonight. He's got a nasty cough, so he's... Uh, <coughs> having, having, Having a having an evening off of rest, his voice, which I must imagine Ruth is absolutely thankful for if Terry's resting his voice. Oh, but, but anyway, oh, thank you everybody for coming over and joining us. As you can see, we have Brian and Joe. So thank you guys for coming over and joining us. Yeah, you're, um, welcome. you're welcome, welcome. So bit of a change of plan. Because it's Nick's birthday on Sunday, I won't be doing a Sunday lunchtime live. So I thought <laughs> it's supposed to be hashtag week on Sunday. So I thought, I didn't plan that very well, did I really? But anyway, so I thought rather than doing it Sunday, we'll do it tonight, which makes more sense. So you get two extra days. Bonus. Everybody's a winner. So, so yeah, everyone's, uh, a winner. Winner. Everyone, everyone's a winner. So what we've got is hashtag this month is hashtag Christmas bauble. I don't know who thought of that one. Brian or Terry? That was me. That was me. That was me. That was Brian. He's Brian's taking response. Christmas, Christmas. Really? Bubble. Really. Right, so that's what I'm going to do. I've got a piece of laminated. This is a piece of stair uh, newel post. Uh, it's a piece of laminated, as you can see, it's laminated oak. Um, and then it's got uh, around about, only about a 
two two and a half mil oak veneer around the outside but obviously we're going to cut that away and we're going to get it round um, I'm going to try and hollow it out to get a as light as I can get it and then we'll try some sort of fin finials <laughs> did you see did you see finials anyway um yeah, so this is a hundred mil. This is a hundred mil square. So what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and create um, a small tenon on the end here, on one end, just so I can hold it with my SC2 chuck, and then um, then we can ho hollow out the the inside of the other end. But anyway, I'm going to go over to the lathe, get that centered, and get it between centers, and then I think I don't know who's going to invite everybody in, but someone's going to invite everybody in. When you're ready, guys. <laughs> yeah. It's Joe. It's Joe. Joe's, Joe's doing the chat. I got volunteered. We're ready. You get on with huh? <coughs> Anyway, good evening and welcome, everybody. And in the chat this evening, we have Michael McEwen, Wynn the Wood Turner, Roy's the Boy, Rob from Cling Spa Abrasives, Pete Twisted Trees, Trees, Trees. Brian Eltonera de Madeira. Yes. Said it. That's, Bra that's Brian with a way. <laughs> Des Barnwell. Hi, Des. Oh, good evening, Des. Terry says hello, by the way. Hi, Des. We've got Michelle Oosby. We've got Ailey from Wood and Burl. Thank you, Ailey, for putting your name in. Terry Bartlett. Barry's Wood Creations. Todd at Glencove Woodworks. Alex the Wurzel, the Wood Butcher. And we have... Are you Alexander taking notice in case I miss, miss somebody? Well, there's 60 people watching. You haven't read it 60 names, that's for sure. No, we've got Grandma Roof Tube. Hi, Roof. Got Christine and Michael Hesseltine. Good evening. Got Mike with Dances with Aardvarks. It's Mike. It is. Paul Hoyton, the Gravesbury Turner. We have Todd. TLF works. I'm hoping that's correct. That's great. I think uh, it is. It's a new name to me. I've got Bruce Watts. What? Right, no, yep. no Watts. We've got Archie. Yes, have a look. Keep on going. We've got Jeff Christie. We've got Dodd 60 I and E. Hmm. Keep on going. Fred Gilver, Martin Ford at Turning Crazy. He's only in for a moment because he's been summoned to watch a film by his, um, what he calls his financial controller. <laughs> financial <Excellent>. advisor. <laughs> and no <Very> controller. <laughs> we have Tez Johnson. Hmm. David Vaughan. Old Man River Wood Turner. Oh my god, everybody's here. Name? I don't know that one. Got oh, Ruby Claire. Oh, oh, oh. Ruby Claire, then. Hi, Ruby. She is. Colin at Turn Links. AGK Woodworks, I and E. Paul Finley. Andy the Valley Wood Turner. Oh, you sit there with your arms folded, Mr. Lucy, Lucy will not be far behind then. Got Alan Gibb. Gotta be soon be there. We've got Malcolm Douglas, Graham Hain. And we're to the bottom. Well, thank you very much. I'm sorry if I've missed anybody Old, out. Old Man River says happy birthday to Nicky on Sunday. I turned a year old I turned a year older on Tuesday. Ooh. It's funny that I turned a year older last Tuesday. <laughs> it's a lot of years in one in one week, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Right, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to round this with a rough and gouge. So we're going to spin our lathe up, obviously standing to the side before we get some speed on it, making sure it doesn't fly off. So. My, uh, my, uh, my computer in the office is making a funny noise. Not another you one. Need, you needn't be quitting now either. We've got Andy Green is in. Good evening, Andy. Oh, Andy. 
So I'm just going to get this just round. Just round. So there's a lot of scope in this uh, hashtag bubble, Christmas bubble week. Huge amounts of scope in it. Hasn't got to be round. Can be any shape you like. Be some nice, uh, could be Hang some on, nice, uh, a nice off center yeah. I think could be. You could even make a snowman, couldn't you? Or you could make a snowman's hat. Snowman bubble. Yeah. <laughs> Christmas bubble. It's not really a snowman thing, is it? No, it could be, I suppose. Yeah, you could. Well, you could make his hat as well, couldn't you? Andy says he's very sleepy. He won't be trying much. Hmm. He, he, he might be on medication. He must be. He probably is. He suffers, doesn't he? All right, so that's round. He does. So we've got to put a little tenon on the end of this. Just big enough for RSC2, Chuck. And one thing I have to say to Michelle, I tried. Alan Gibb turns another year younger on Monday. Too many candles for any cake. I can not that old, Alan. <clears throat> lots of scorpions. You just have to go with seven, don't you, for every ten. There's, there's lots of scorpions in this uh, chat tonight, then. Scorpions? Mm -hmm. Scorpions. Oh, of course, yeah, you are, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Well, I am, anyway. Um, Colin's asking, Colin at what? Turn Links... What day are you going to the uh, to Harrogate, Steve? I shall be there Saturday and Sunday. I won't be turning up till late Friday evening. But I'll be there all day Saturday and all day Sunday. There you are, they? Okay, okay. Right, so that's our tenon. Just big enough for our chuck. So let's get that in the chuck before we go any further. <laughs> that is a smallish tenon, I have to say. I can't even see it. It's camouflage. Uh, Steve Hales it's joined us. Camouflage. And Michelle said, Joe, I live in hope. What's your live in hope for? Oh, come on. Right, totally missed it. I said, Snowman hat. Oh, Snowman hat. hat. Oh, hat. Right. Uh, snowman oh. hat. Oh, is that the one that's been sat on the bench for a year? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it did, yeah, it did. <laughs> We've got Joe Garoppolo. Uh, that, that was like the latest. That was hi, Joe. That was like the latest flight that's just gone to America. It was right <laughs> over my head. <laughs> right. Uh, dear. So we can now start to get a bit of shape on this. So I was going to do round, but I'm not 100 percent sure. But we'll see how we go. No. Why don't you do pair drop? <sighs> pair drop. Uh, Drop. Well, fair enough. Pair drop. Yeah. If the interest thing is a decoration that's going to go on it. Mm. Yeah, that's well, the... you didn't say it's a Christmas tree decoration, did you? Yes. You just said it's a Christmas, Christmas bobble. Oh, bobble, you did, yes. Christmas Sorry. Bobble is what it's supposed to be. Yeah, uh, but nowadays they put, you put anything on a tree, Ooh. don't you? Did indeed, Rob. Eyes wide shut again. Get rid of that. Get rid of what? Alex is saying he's not very well and he's, in, he's watching from his bed tonight. Oh, Alex. That's not good, buddy. Hope you feel better. Quickly. It's the time of year. There's lots of bugs going around. There is Used to be. Listen, Andrew, get off your high horse there. Don't be trying to put pressure on me. Poor Michelle, we'll be completed at some point. No one needs a hat. What's it? He's not a completed snowman without a hat. Only needs a hat. It's only took him a year, though. <laughs> it's not a year. It's not even It's not even ten months yet. Yeah. Are you proud of it? 
Everything's fine. I'm sitting there. She's, she'll get it sometime. Well, I don't know what she's complaining about. It's not even Christmas. And, Andrew, why have you just joined us? <laughs> why oh, Andrew, <laughs> you going to leave me alone or are you going to jump in on the bandwagon to you? Couldn't you just take one of the hats off one of the other snowmen that you've got because I can see <gasps> one up God. on your right, just up there. There is, but that's got the uh, that's got a shamrock on it. That's not really a snowman. Up. I, I could see definitely. a man and a woman up there, is it not? No, oh, but that's that's my that's my snow people. That's the oh. <laughs> that's my snow Mister Mrs. Oh, I'm going to deserve I, a medal by the time I finish. The hat's far too small for that one, Joe. Yeah, I suppose so. It's a big hat. Love to wait like a good big piece of wood. So if anyone's got any big pieces of wood, or the <laughs> one to Brian who's big. <laughs> yeah, I don't need any wood, I've got loads. Uh, oh, Andrew says that you've been busy, Brian. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. I have been really, really busy, rushed off my feet. Can't I uh, just dump a dime to make a hat. Alex has got a trap nerve on his bike. Oh, sorry to hear that, mate. Yeah, it's a bit sore. Takes your breath away, doesn't it? <laughs> Rob says, Brian, just say, I'll finish it. Right? And then you'll have nothing to moan about. And then That's you'll be bored. service, though. And then run like hell, he says. <laughs> yeah. Who can run the fastest, you or Michelle? Me. You see Bundy Rose in? I'm, I'm done running now. I just stand my ground now. <laughs> <laughs> well, Lucy of the Bundy Rose has just joined us. Good evening, Lucy. Hi, Lucy. Thank you Welcome to the madness. Oh, this is too big. You sixty nine people watching, Steve. Are you, are you making this? Are you making this into a ball and then putting finials, attaching finials to it? Yes, hopefully. All right, okay. I thought you were going to make a small ball in the middle and have two finials off either end. Oh, but no, no. Right, there you go. No, it's not that technical. <laughs> Terry Bartlett, you can be quiet. Exactly, Terry. Exactly. Ah, oh, come on, Brian. He says. You have all the time in the world to do that hat. And you couldn't do it for anyone better. You're right, I couldn't. But. <laughs> but. You know what it's like. Larry Chetty, says he, Larry Chetty says he's been making a snowman out of you. And they sell so fast he can't keep up. That's good. Brilliant. Mm. Absolutely. You, you doing I'm a good job. A... It must be, boy. You keep at it. Keep doing what you're doing. The thing is, I um, I, I do use Facebook a lot. I do look at it on, on my news feeds. And the amount of Christmas fairs that I've seen pop up. A lot in there this year. There's loads. Uh, I think because yeah, of COVID, yeah. there weren't haven't been any for, for COVID due to COVID. But I think everybody's I sort of getting back on the bandwagon now. Oh, I've got now. All right, so I'm going to actually try. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a little <laughs> tiny circle there. Tiny circle. Where? Oh, there. I'm going to try and hollow it out ah. through through that. Oh. oh. I'll be interesting then. So I'm just going to get a drill bit and drill a hole in there. Give yourself a depth hole. So get rid of that. Do light balls. Easy tiger. Have you uh, have you have you tried this? How many snowmen have you done? Have I done this year? Pick a number between zero and zero. <laughs> I think he haven't done many then, Win. <laughs> Not know how many I've done. The same as you, Win. We've 
got Dewey shed in. Hi, Dewey. Hi, Dewey. How are you doing, bud? And I don't, I've no intention of making any snowmen this year unless somebody actually phones me up and says, Can you make me a snowman? Do you like snowmen? I'm not making any just for on spec, just to have something. Sitting around. Not doing it. Cool. That's a manky bit. Of, that's a manky force in a bit. We'll get rid of that. Is that a bit blunt? Yeah, that's going in the bin, that is. <laughs> All right, okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, right. Terry's in. All right, Terry. Hi, Terry. He said, I've just come in to say hello, not too well. So, early night for me. Good night, Terry. Hope you feel better soon. Take care of yourself, you sully old furt. Alright, <laughs> <laughs> let's try that one. That's better. Excellent. What size is that, Steve? Uh, I don't know, I'll tell you when it comes out. It's only about, and... only about 20 mil, or 20, 22 mil, so like three quarters of an inch, maybe. Yeah, it's plenty big. <sighs> Terry Bottle is, uh, Terry Bottle is uh, prescribing uh, an extremely large malt for Terry. Uh, oh, she always be just put in the chat there. Brian, make me a snowman. Fingers crossed. Ah. <laughs> ah. You know what the chances are. Ah. Do you want a hat on it, Michelle? Well, you do. Mm. You don't need a hat. If you think I may have another snow, maybe another thing coming. Jamming's in. Hello, Ben. 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 He said, Ben says hello and welcome to mine and Steve's life. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Ben. Thanks for the permission. <laughs> G Shed said, question, question. What's a good set of Fosner bits to buy? The best you can afford. Right. I've got I've got news for you, G. The best way to buy them is individually. Buy the ones you need, not just buy a whole set. And buy good quality. So buy one at a time and buy good quality. Would you be able to name a brand that's actually good quality? Um well <laughs> Milwaukee. Ah, oh, right, okay. I have heard of that. I, I have bought a couple of uh, Planet um, Fosner bits, and they seem to be pretty good. Um, Bosch make a, a nice wave pattern one. They kind of got a wave on them rather than sawtooth. They're quite good as well. But what you want to try and make sure is that when you, the the, uh, the bit that you put into your drill or your Morse tape or your Jacob's chuck is the same size consistent through the range of sizes that you've got. The set I've got, on, the set I've got a record power. Mm. They're they're not a bad set, to be honest. Yeah, they'd be alright. Sixty-two mil. That's it. Hey, yeah. Hi, James. <clears throat> Hi, James. Welcome along, buddy. Wurzel <laughs> uh, said, "I made eight snowman last this last week and got another seven to go." Uh, as the missus wants 15 to take to the WI club, she takes them to decorate. Oh, very good. So that was seven eights. I've oh. made a few a few uh, Christmas trees this year for the local children's hospital. Oh, lovely. Through the Ulster Wood Turning Club. That's obviously not seven eights because that's in the wrong for me. It's that one. Three quarters, that is. <laughs> yeah. Donate them to the hospital and then the kids can play with them. Mm. Paint them and stuff. What did Rob say? Rob says, Brian, I'm sensing a lack of commitment to this marriage. It won't <laughs> last until you up your game. <laughs> All right. Yeah, okay, Rob. Cheers, mate. <laughs> uh, won't last. All right. It's, it's funny, that because uh, Michelle and I have been cohabiting since 1985. Wow. It's That's only a day or two. I think we'll last another day or two yet. Unless I Ten. strangle her in the process, I don't know. <laughs> Could be the other way around. Tendering <laughs> wood turning is, is joined it, us. What? Tendering wood turning. Don't know Tender, that name. Tendering. 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 And tendering then the Yorkshire Gate. Tendering. Oh, hi, Glenn. Ew, tendering Glenn. wood turning. I'm going to have a look at that. Evening, Glenn. 
case we have a spy in the camp. Ah, Henry Wood Tommy. I should know that name because I'm subscribed to that channel. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the name just didn't ring a bell there. 453 subscribers and 23 videos. Have you got a first some, name some, for us to call you? Some nice hollow forms and stuff there. Yeah? And a bit of resin thrown in. Lovely. So when you make your finial, mm -hmm. is it going to be the same wood or something different? I ain't fall that far ahead yet, right? Yeah, to give him a minute to think about that there, Joe. You know. Will it be coloured? Probably. It's Christmas, oh. it has to be red and greens and stuff, doesn't it? Uh, red and green? Why has it got to be red and well, green? It's, well, it's Christmas, huh? Could be pink, gold. Pink. Hey, Rob. Rob, stop it. You see what that Rob fella just put in the chat? I know. That is know. terrible. You're just trying to drop me in, aren't they? I know. Mr. Rob, that's going to have to stop. What is this? Pick on Brian. <laughs> and all you have to do is make a hat. Just, just because First Terry's time. not here. I mean, come on, boys. Well, you're yeah, choice. I didn't refuse to make a hat. Now, you see, you're exaggerating. I said I would make the hat for the snowman. Yeah? Just haven't done it yet. You didn't say when. Robert, Robert Bolt was just joined us. Good evening, Robert. Robert. So Changing the subject rather Changing rapidly. The subject. <laughs> 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 so it's yeah. Something like 52 days to Christmas now or something. 52 days? Oh, oh it must be plan, something what, like that anyway. What plan are you living on? It wouldn't be 52 days. It's only 25 days in December and nine days left in November. What are we on? We're only on the, we're is only is on the, the 3rd of November. There's this more. Is <laughs> oh, yeah, that's probably you know, you're right, huh? Mm. <sighs> That's Michelle, she'll tell you, she's changing there. Yeah. She's forever putting it on Facebook. I know. Michelle's on I a countdown. I always like it. Michelle's on a countdown. She is. <laughs> Snowmen need a hat or their heads will get cold, says Lucy. They do. They're right. Andrew, <coughs> question from uh, Andrew. Well, question from Andrew. Is that a number one hole or Steve? Um, I don't know, is it? No. I don't know, I'll tell oh. you. I reckon. Uh, mid size. Oh, it is a mid number one, yeah. Hole. Mid size, number one hole, yeah. It is a mid. Norman Greenwell's in. Yeah. Another random question from Haley. Mm hmm. Just wondered if anybody else here watches Olive, yes. Olivia Gomez. On Oliver. YouTube. Is it? Oliver oh, no. Gomez, yeah. Oliver Gomez. He's young, but does some very complex he, stuff. He, he does indeed, yeah. Really good turner. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I'm subscribed to his channel too. And Glyn says, Brian, I bet she reminds you every 12 months too. I know. It's just, con hat. it's just constant reminders. Every year, at least once a year, she reminds me. I mean, what's that about? <laughs> is there an RSPCA for snowmen we can report Brian to? <laughs> There's Rob. Uh, the Royal Society for the Profession of Snowmen. So I'm sure Did I say hello to call. Norman Greenwell? Can't remember. Hi Norman. Hi Norman. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, you now. could actually, you could actually nip me a hat for for a snowman. That would be a good idea. Ah, oh, now. You want the size of the head? 
do, do. Right. Where does everybody find the time to watch all these videos of people? Just yeah, when you're sitting twiddling your thumbs, you just put your iPad on and let it play. And you Some watch. Some of us don't have time to. Oh, don't give me any of that rubbish. To twiddle our thumbs. Mm hmm. Is this your hectic social schedule you're talking about? Oh, I, can't, I, I couldn't even tell you how many hours I was oh, on no. the phone today. Yeah, I know. There you go, see? I was trying to help Glyn's mum with problems and stuff like that. As well, uh, What's this uh, Robert brought? He says, Roy, well done for another first on Wednesday evening. Mm. <gasps> what, was he first, what, what was he first in the pub again on Wednesday? First to make a dodgy deal, I don't know. First to buy a round. Yeah, that's is right. We're talking about behave yourself. Lucy says, "Joe, I have no idea. There isn't enough hours in the day." There you go. You see. Yeah, but Lucy watches all her videos at night. Once the kids go to bed, and that includes the big kid. Barry says, Barry Chitty, looking at all these channels, you don't have time to make a hat. This is true, Barry. This is true. Far too busy watching videos. Now. <clears throat> Turning in my shed. I'll do the hat tomorrow. Stop whining. God. Oh, we've <laughs> broken him, people. Oh, yeah. Broken oh. him. I'm only trying to get you off my case. You're welcome, Michelle. <laughs> Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> you heard, you heard it here. I think Ryan Michelle should come out and uh, learn how. To, I think uh, Michelle should come out and learn how to make a hat. Uh, teach her how to make a hat. Now then, that's a challenge. Oh yeah, of course, Lucy. You women never stop me, right? We don't. Glenn says yeah. that. No, Robert, I'm actually I'm actually dry, but uh, I'm sure I've seen it on the local news that down Patrick, which is would be my nearest town, is completely flooded. The main street is completely flooded. Is it now? Yep. And it has been for four days now. Because there's nowhere to pump the water to. Right. Because the, the uh, tide comes in right up the, the Coyle River, it's a uh, tidal estuary. So the tide comes in up the river and it hasn't been there's that much water going down the river, but the estuary has never went down any. So yeah, it's a bit of a nightmare. But the good news is we've started to pump it out this evening. Good. We've got Steve Ash learner turner in. Oh, Steve. Yep, he says he says, I see one of those swan necks in my very near future. In like a week or so. Ah. <laughs> Oh, that's a bit better. <clears throat> what have you got in sight? About four and a half mil. No, that's all right. That's good. Just a little bit thick in the bottom. I'm just going to take, right. take a little bit more out of the bottom. Oh. Do you have to Mind you have to drill a hole in the bottom, though. Yeah, I don't know. Is that, is that picture frozen there, is it? What? No. No, no. I thought your picture had frozen there, but... I did for a second, but it's jumped, jumped again. Sorry. No, just to chill. Just struggle to do it so Brian does it for you. <laughs> the, R, the RSPCS, just for Brian's the CEO, the Royal, Royal Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Snowmen. The number one hollower, was it? Uh, that he's using. Up. That's what Steve's using, yeah. Yeah, I was. Um, Colin. Colin said he was making coffee and he missed it. Um, what, what it was. It's the number one mid-size hollower. The right. thing is, it doesn't stick with me. So I have to keep oh, asking. Oh. Hey, steady. Does anything I have to ask? Oh. Oh, that was a bit okay. harsh. But fair. That's a bit fair. Right, so just tidy that up a little bit. So I've got my shape. I've got it hollowed out. 
It's around about four, four and a half mil thick on the wall. So good. Time I sand it, be down to four point three five. <laughs> um, right, so I'm going to put a part line in there so we know roughly where we're going to go. Yeah. Rob, Rob says you'll be right back. He's just off to order a snowman, a snowman balloon for Harrogate. <laughs> oh dear, never mind. And so, Colin, yeah, is, is it Simon? Oh. No, no, it was Easy Wood Tools. We'll just sweep that round a little bit just to finish put you over on overhead you'll be able to see what i'm doing yeah we should be telling you put it on overhead please steve uh, right. steve overhead can uh, would be better thanks guys sorry right. anytime mate anytime. That's, over. that's why we're here to be used to be your eyes Why did my earphones just bleep then? Bleep or no? Mine, mine didn't. No, oh, that's all right. Must just be mine somewhere. Roy right, the boy says, Camera, you're a bit late, right? We said that half an hour ago. Where have you been? Uh, no, Lucy. That's the answer to that question. The Yorkshire Gets says, was it part of your sponsorship, Steve? I don't know what he's referring to. <laughs> well, Easy would send it to me, so if, we, if you call it part of the sponsorship, then yes. Oh, is the did, answer. Did yes, oh, I see. Oh. All right, so let's get this sanded up. I think I'm just going to take oh, that a little bit Rob, thinner. Rob's. Rob says they have a new distributor start today in Scotland. And who would that be, Rob? Not wind of a class in Scotland. Well, Wayne just asked, Who's that, Rob? So it's maybe not Wayne. <laughs> red herring. You think it's a red herring, do you? Well, it could be. I don't know. Or a crab. Oh. Right, sand it, sand it, Steve, sand it. <laughs> Robert Glainsworth says, "Way I excuse this belly." Turn that down Wait a little bit. So let's get this Scotch bright, not Scotch bright. Why do I say Scotch bright? Abrin it out. Yeah. Andy wants to know what colours are going to be, Steve. Well, I ain't thought that far yet, Andy. You, you lot are impatient. <laughs> I think it ought to be gold. Gold. Red, green, gold, yeah, silver. Just with your colours. White. No. White. What do you mean no? That's, that's Joe. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. Oh, he says plum. Plum. Oh. I know we'll be surprised at that response. Plum. I'm surprised, yeah. We can always go for pink. Steve Ashley <laughs> pink. That's two of us into pink. Pinkity pink, kitty pink, kitty pink. That's what they're called. Way I would turn it. You should get says burgundy. Graham Fred Oliver says, Brian, I'm a retriever, and most of the roads here have been closed due to flooding, landslides, and sinkholes. Oh We're off home on Saturday morning. Seeing family tomorrow. Wow, oh, friend. Uh, Graham Evans saying, "What is the chuck that you're using, Steve?" It's a record SC2. power SC2. You've got one of them, haven't you, Brian? I have indeed. I have two of them, in fact. Really good little chuck. Andy the Valley Wood Turner saying, has anyone used the colours from Crimson Guitars? Uh, no. Very expensive, isn't they? Uh, Malcolm Douglas says he wants dark blue with gold stars. Hmm. 
Not there yet. Good luck with that one, Malcolm. Mm. Remember, it's hashtag week. You can do whatever you like. <laughs> ben, ben, ben Jones says, oh, he's been, he's, he's wishful thinking here. He says, I wish Sainsbury had a wood tonic section. It would be very convenient. Oh, dear. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> I worry about that boy. Des Barnwell says, Wait, I have the tiniest shop. It's not how big your workshop Ooh. is, it's what you do in it. The mass. Rob says, uh, Rob says, uh, at Harrogate, I have a meeting with Simon Hope, so fingers crossed. Oh. He's a pleasant gentleman, is Simon Hope. Hi, Simon. Hi, Dave. He's a right lad. All right, so let's take this up to... These are going to colour it. 400. Northern Ireland had the wettest October we've ever had. And, and over a hundred years, apparently. Wow. Unbelievable. It has been nasty, though, hasn't it? Let's Shocking. Face it. Nasty. Been very moist around <coughs> here. The fields are flooded. I've cancelled two local events tomorrow night and tonight because of the wet weather. Hmm. Andy says they've just had the Andy's just had the, their twelve colours delivered. Is that the Crimson Guitar colours you're talking about? Yeah. You have to let me know if they're any good, Andy. I'm always looking for new colours. Malcolm Douglas has just had a cataract operation, so he's not allowed in the workshop for four weeks. So I'll have a speedy recovery, Malcolm. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And don't be getting bored too long. <coughs> <laughs> yeah, Rob says I live in Somerset. It always floods around here. Yeah, well, Dan Patrick last flooded about twenty-five years ago, uh, but this time has been exceptionally flooded. But I, I haven't been. You know, I live on the side of a hill, twenty-four feet above sea level. Oh, why we should say he's got a full set as well. Oh, all right. So, um. Grandma on this tube says she wants that lilac. Lilac? Cool. I didn't see that colour for a long while. Yeah, well, you can get white Christmas trees, can't you? So... <laughs> Wayne says, please stop talking about floods. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, Wayne. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> Thanks, Point Glenn. Taken. I had the operation. I'm not web no more. Look, look, I've had the operation. Oh, good man. Right. So, colours them. <laughs> Well, you've had a variety of suggestions. So, hmm. so are we painting it or are we staining it? I think we've got to paint it because of the way it's, the way the bit of wood is. Yeah, because because you cheapskate, well, you use that segmented stain. bit. I was going to say stain it. Segmented done, and that's what it is. Well, if I stain it, you're going to see all the all the joints. Yeah, but yeah, that doesn't matter, does it? It's all part and parcel of the pattern on it. Yeah, it might look all right. Might not though. <laughs> What do you guys think? What do you guys think? I'll Come tell you on. what I'm going to do. I'm Come going to do. Lunch. I'm going to do. I'm, people in the chat. I'm going to do red, and then we'll put some oh. glitter on it. <coughs> red, red with and glitter. glitter. Okay, that sounds like a plan. So ruby so, red. Ruby red stain. Yep. A pen. Oh, stain. Okay, stain. From the intrinsic collection. It's from the intrinsic. Yes. Because that's a nice, deep, rich red. We want a nice, deep, rich red. <laughs> Rob says, half of Somerset used to be under the sea a great many years ago, and uh, they're reclaiming it from the sea. I think Mo Mother Nature is reclaiming it back. Yeah. You're not going to beat Mother Nature. <clears throat> when the wood tenor says, the link for way I wood turning is right there. And um, Michelle is suggesting red, and Painted. Graham Hayne, black and yellow. <laughs> we know Wrong. where that comes from. 
Wrong channel. Wrong, right. wrong, right, yeah, wrong channel, girl. Yeah. Steve Ash says, try die, and if it sucks, paint it. Exactly. Rob the prof, isn't it? Even Rob. Hi, Rob. Even Rob. If I give it a couple of coats of red, I'll give it a nice, deep, rich mm -hmm. red. Well, that's Christmassy, isn't it? Red, straight off. That's what I said, red and green. Christmas colours. Depends whether you can get the right green, though, doesn't it? Why would grass green not do? Oh, you need a deep green, don't you? Do you? Oh. Well, there's 40 shades of it now, and you can have as many as you want. <laughs> Take a pack. <laughs> well, I think if there's a finial going on that, I think it ought to be yeah. black. Careful, there, Joe. Careful. You're thinking again. Careful. That's twice today. You'll overdo yourself. <laughs> oh. Tell yourself, hey, care, careful, there. <laughs> ah. There, Joe. All right, we'll let that dry. Well, that's dry. We'll put some, put some of these tools away. I'm going to try to get my own bike now for the hat going. <laughs> yeah, that's legit, is that? <laughs> no, it's not. No, it's not. There's no need to bring it up at all. And what about like the lights of Rob Klingspot? What about, what about Rob Klingspot? He was suggesting various... Mm -hmm. That's okay. Rob's punishment will be swift and, and fearsome. And unexpected. What are you going on that? Bruce, we're not to talk about the, the, the floods in the wet ground and... and, and Anywhere. In case we put the scud on, Wayne. Handy Valley Wood Terms here's the colours are Mulberry, Aquamarine, Blood Orange, Oxblood, Lime, Mango, Peach, something foam, because yeah, there'll be hearts on the way. Sea foam, there you go. Sea foam, green it is. Uh, salmon, butterscotch, lavender, and sky blue. Sounds so lovely, don't they? Well, they're expensive, Andy. I have to tell you that there's only there's only one in there that is actually a colour. You know, aquamarine is the only one that's a colour there. Yeah, but people give them these fancy names to make them sound more attractive, don't they? They do. Well, it, it works. Blood orange, that's just a dark orange, isn't it, really? Ox blood, that's just yeah. a dark blood, a dark red. <laughs> Sky Rob says, I'll go and hide now. No one that was brave ever lives. <laughs> you better, right, Rob. Just to keep you on your toes. Retribution will be swift, painful, and uh, unexpected. Oh, I bet it will. Uh, Glyn says there's a faded radial line. Around the equator. Of that, that globe, Steve. There is there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's barely noticeable. And you saying that? It's very hard to get, that, to get that actually out of there. I yeah. think it's all right. Hilly says, um, question. Andy apologises if he missed it. But are there uh, color, colors, uh, are the colors stain or paint? These are stains. <clears throat> it's the Hampshire, Hampshire yeah. Sheen Intrinsic Range. They are indeed. Oh, I'm getting told off now, look. Yep. Stop stirring. I'm not oh. stirring it. Yes, you are. Yeah, 100% are. Oh, I'm going to take my jumper off. It's roofed in this house. He's we warm. haven't got our heating on, I don't think. He's warmer than that snowman without a hat, isn't he? We have. Uh, well, he's in the shed. He can stay there. He'll be fine. I'm just waiting for the cracks to settle. That's why he's not got a heart on his head. <laughs> oh, that was a good excuse, wasn't it? Yeah, just trip right off my tongue. I lied. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's only taking you, uh, what, 50 minutes? <laughs> I'd think about that. <laughs> You're going to duff me. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. It's 
So what's the difference between a die oh, here we go. and a stern? There's, there's virtually no difference. No, no difference at all. They both soak into the timber. They actually stain the timber. They don't sit on top of the wood. They actually soak into it. And it paints, so that's what a die does. That's what a stain does. A paint, a paint okay. sits on the top of the wood. The top. <laughs> Rob has just removed your parking spot from the stand, Joe. Oh, that's cruel. Well, that's what, you, that's, you, that's, what you get for, that's what you get for being a manure agitator. A what agitator? A manure agitator. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Andy says, uh, now, Andy, you put your prices in. Uh, is that for, uh, wh whose prices are they? No, you need That's to let for know. the um, Crimson Guitars, isn't it? Ah, I see. Possibly. <laughs> Rob says, that's, Joe, that's an easy one. I know this is a non-wood term. Stain starts with S, die starts with D. <laughs> <laughs> He's always uh, one. Right, so I'm going to put a little bit. Always one. I'm going to put a little it makes bit. Of, no, it makes no difference. Right? Since we've got that radial line around the middle there, I'm going to highlight. That. I'm just going to put a little bit of honey on there. Oh, honey! Make, mm. I think I just look a little bit different. I'd stick some stars on it. I thought you were going to try and get rid of it. That's why I thought you wanted stars. It. It's quite hard to get rid of that radial line, actually. Yeah, well, this is just highlighted. Right? Where, where do you get that it's little bit of the well, you get that little bit of straight grain that's in there. That's why it was. Oh, excuse me. Bless, oh. bless your cotton socks. Thank you. Silk socks. No, um, I prefer cotton. Um, Graham Hain says, question, question, question. If you think of a name for yourself, how do you know that someone else may have it? I didn't name myself. My mum and dad named me. I'm not sure in what context you're asking that, Graham. Me neither. Devote is in. Are you talking about a name for a channel or, or something like that? Is that what you are? My dad named me. Uh, uh, well, I'm assuming he's talking about a name for a channel or something. Mm. Steve Weiss is the funky death star. Okay. Well, does it allow you to have duplicates? No. Yeah, another SK Crafts, are there? I thought so. Is there another SK Crafts? Yeah, it's a uh, pan pin paper manufacturer. Yeah, but is it the same spelling? I think so. You mean somebody else spelled it wrong? Everybody out there is Googling it now, aren't they? Yeah. And gentlemen says right. you get the radio line because there's no engrain. Do I get the gold star? Yes. Well done, Ben. Give you a silver one for that. So Steve's mum and dad named him SK Crafts. <laughs> yep, they did. <laughs> Rob says, when my boss asked me how uh, the wood turning thing is going, I always answer, they're as mad as a box of frogs. And he goes, oh, well, keep me updated. <laughs> <laughs> Right, let's get some sand yeah, and see. We're not mad, but you, you don't have to be mad, but sand yeah. helps. It just numbs the pain a little bit. Mm. I prefer Snickers over a ghost star. Snickers is on its way, man. Oh, I like Snickers. Joe's, there was, Joe's posting you one tomorrow. It was horrible, Wayne, because when I was in the park and I was time to go home, I'm going, come on, SK Crafts, let's go. And everybody would just look around. <laughs> <laughs> right, sand and sealer. Settle the sand and sealer. Pete says, Pete. Go on. Pete says, a box of frogs has got nothing in us. Yeah, you're absolutely right there, Pete. <laughs> and Lucy says, morning, Pete. Just got the Pete disease. It's morning somewhere. All right, so let it dry. Then we'll give it another coat. Give it a couple <laughs> of coats. Crimson guitar. Uh, there's a whole lot of um, promotion of crimson guitar stains on you. Children. It's quite a nice fella, actually. 
Come to get down. Mm. Yeah, he is, I. It's good friends with John Clovier, Lucy, isn't it? Lucy thought Brian just said Nicker. No, it's said Snicker. I don't know. I've not I've not heard him um for a long time. John. John Clovier, you know, he ain't been on for a long while, has he? No. <laughs> it's as if he's disappeared off the planet. All right, so let's just de nib that. We'll check it, and if need be, we'll give it another coat. Mike from Dances of Alvarez says, um, leather dyes are good on wood, and they're reasonably priced. They are indeed. I could uh, I could give you the um, Bulgers make a concentrated colour, which is also very good, and you can thin it there as much as you like. When there's lots of there's lots of places to find your uh, wood turning um, ulteriors uh, alternatives, but uh, the only ones that I know are designed specifically for wood turning is the intrinsic colours and uh, our good friend at uh, Chester designed specially for wood turning. When it says I named one of my dogs Shark, it was a laugh when I shouted for him at the beach. <laughs> shark! <laughs> <laughs> hmm. yeah. uh, question, question, question. Wouldn't it be better to use a spray sanding sealer as applying it by cloth can remove the stain? Or am I wrong? Right, right, Fred. You're not wrong. It does lift a little bit off it. But the, <clears throat> we, would, we would normally use... Um, a spray if we had multiple colours and that stops you blending the colours together rather than so using it on a single colour is, is not an issue it does, does remove a tiny little bit of stain but not enough is causing an issue well, we'll welcome blend the colours together to the wet them. sorry welcome Frederick Day yeah. to the chat I've not welcome heard of him right I've had these. Know. I've had these for ages. So, Damask. so I'm going to use some of these to do some of the glitter. So, you can get these from. Martin's actually started redoing these. So, if you wanted some of these, you can go and buy some, or you could make your own, whatever you fancy. But if you want to go and buy some, please use my affiliate link in the uh, in the. Um, in the link in the description below. All right, so obviously we've got to be careful because <laughs> see you laughing at. I'm laughing at Ben. We've got to be careful with these because obviously um, we can't have too bigger on there because the the way it wraps will crease the crease the. Um, oh yeah. The curvature causes an issue. Yeah. Just, yeah so just, what so. I need to do is. Um, you can do it. We can do it two, one of two ways. I can either put the positive on or the negative. So, yeah. what I'm going to do is, I think I'm going to do, I'm going to use the positive, I think. <clears throat> the reason being that I can, um, actually, I've got some better vinyl tape in it. I can I've got um, a couple of wood turnings in. All right, Rob, how are you doing? Hey, Rob. Evening. If I use um, the positive, I can put it on, and I can paint the whole bauble uh, <laughs> with with glue or size or whatever you want to call it. And then when I take it off, it's only going to leave the red bits of the. Um, oh, does it want to be the other way? Does the the, sh the pattern want to be glitter, or does the whole bauble want to be glitter and the natural the pattern's left natural? Oh, that's be, I quite different. like it as it is, to be fair, but that's just my opinion. Got that up, uh, we? Andy has just has just put a little reminder there to say that all of Martin's websites are now back up and running. Yes, they are, and they're under one name now, which is Hampshiresheen dot com. That's good. Now, Glyn says compound curvature. Eliminate that. That totally throws my curves. Curves in two directions. Or more. Uh, like a Wayne says he's got to go. See you later, Wayne. Thanks Bye, Wayne. Me.
Take it easy, buddy. Bye for now. Uh, Michael McEwen saying, put glitter on the finial. No, 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 no. That's typical. Literally. I've tried that. Doesn't it work? It does. I've got a lovely glitter finial, I'll show you. If we can find it. There it is. Joe can see this, the rest of you will not see this. Oh, yeah. Oh, I like that. Mm. That goes really well. So, yeah, that's, uh, that was a little practice one for a Christmas ball. But, uh, it's it's gold and uh, has glitter on it. Spray Big glitter treat. that you can buy from, that I bought from um, Lidl. Comes oh, in a, yeah. a aerosol spray. Oh, that looks really, really nice. Says, okay, I'm feeling Steve's pain now. Yeah, I know these things are a bit of a pain, I have to say. I don't weed very well. If I'd have known I was doing this, I'd have made me own. <laughs> Pete says, You see how much easier this would be to make it if you were a flat earther. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. The negative is less likely to crease, said Robert Prof. And did we say a little market turn of Greencraft? Josephine? Sorry, say that again. Did we say hello to um, um, market turn of Greencraft? Yes. We did, okay. We did. Scissors, I need scissors. Um, question, question, question. Should you use the transfer tape? Well, I've got to de-weed at first. I've got to weed at first and I've got to take out the other bit. Got to weed it, yeah. So, I'm going to prepare a pair of scissors there. What have I done with them? Glenn says, that <laughs> looks easy, Steve. Yeah, it does. Yeah. It's not, it's not the easiest says, thing in the world, I have to say. And Ben says, I can tell you already that I don't have the patience for stencils. They'd already be on the shed ceiling by now. That's <laughs> yeah, me too, Ben. I, I have a pack too, Ben, and I found them to be a bit footery. Love that word, footery. But... If order. you have the patience, they're, they're very good. I'm used to it, so it don't really matter. I have patience for some things, but that's just not one of them. Right, so. So we're just going to have to try and Push this down. And get it kind of flat. And get it, yeah, get it kind of flat. Flat, flat-ish. Oh. It's a huge mistake. All right. So, Todd from TLF. Yeah, done, done. This is great timing for me as I'm wanting to try this soon. Hmm. Okay. Well, lucky you were here, just at the right time. Something different. Hmm. Certainly different. So we just got to try and push that down without stretching it too much. Uh, Brian, you called S W Studios S. How do you know? I'm somewhere. Graham says, Brian, you called uh, Stable Studios. How did you know if someone else had that name? I didn't. I just stuck up and uh, see if it's if it's accepted by um, YouTube. It's fine. Nobody else has it. So you just kind of have to go for it. That's all I did. Oh, thanks. Uh, thanks, Rob. Uh, sadly, I have to go to do the wife's injections and get her ready for bed. Great stream, Steve. And Brian, shame I have to report you to the, for snowman abuse. 
That's all right, Rob. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll live with that. <laughs> you take it easy, buddy. See you later, Rob. Thanks for coming over, mate. See you next weekend. Oh, Pete from Trusted Trees has got the right answer. Steve has endless patience. After all, he lives with Mickey and two daughters. <laughs> well, th- th- that's uncalled for, is that? One daughter now, Pete. The other one had sense of me yeah. now. Well, that's true. One has flown the nest. She's off making her own nest. And good on her. Yeah. The, the other one's staying at home. Yeah, the other one's uh, got it too easy. Oh. Rob from Corporal says there may be a Sonic sighting tonight. Oh, Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic the Hedgehog, yeah. There may be. We are bending over that lathe there. Sonic, there he is. No, he's not. Um, let's try this one here. I think the hardest problem is seeing him. That's better. Oh, I can see his turquoise. <laughs> Lucy's boot. Rob, a sonic sighting? Question mark. Oh. No work. See, Lucy's just not in the know. A bit before your time, Lucy, that was. Yeah, it was a bit. When I had the lathe in the other place, I used to lean over the camera all the time. Put your big head in the way. With his spiky haircut. Sonic the Hedgehog. It wasn't his fault it was spiky. It was um, Nicky's fault. It's a while ago, is that? <laughs> it is a bit, yeah. And Pete says... But that can be worse. Both men flew the nest so they can drop in unannounced oh. to shatter my nerves. That's all right, yeah, Nick. See. Nick was dog sitting tonight. I have to say, oh, my that, goodness. there has to be some uh, kind of rule laid down there. You don't ever turn up unannounced, ever. Once you leave, you're left. You have to ring and make an appointment after that. Can you see Nick doing that? Absolutely well, not. And I couldn't I see you doing it either. Who, me? No, no, no. Steve. Oh, Steve. Uh, I just for one minute thought you thought I had a heart there. To, uh... Oh, <laughs> Fabio. <laughs> 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 hmm? I think you're a softie underneath. I think you're just trying to show everybody that you've got a hard yeah. exterior. Okay, Brian. yeah. You believe what you like, Joe. Right, I need one more just to go in there. A little tiny one just to go in there. That's about one there. <laughs> Brian says goodbye. Only the ones. That's correct, Rob. Just the ones. So it takes 10 minutes to oh, turn. Oh no, I've lost the chat. Oh no. It takes 10 minutes to turn a bauble. 40 minutes to put some Three stickers on. Three hours to stick a sticker on, yeah, no. Then you have to take it back off again. That's even worse. Dave Otis yeah, says, Dave. when the leave change, the locks problem sorted. There you <laughs> go. Sorry. It's, uh, when you hear these stories of uh, children coming back and emptying the fridge, he, yeah, that'll be right. Yeah, that's what I was saying. First thing they do is they can I have a can of drink. Can I have, what you got in the fridge to eat? I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. You've not got food in your house or? Say nothing. There's nothing in my fridge. You've been eating out my fridge for the last 25 years. Out. <laughs> Lucy says, I think Brian's a big softy too. <laughs> yeah. There you go, okay. Lucy. Right, the it's it's funny how Michelle and Matthew both think I've got a swinging brick instead of a harp. <laughs> a swinging brick. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Michelle says. Says you'll never have a heart attack unless the brick stops swinging. <laughs> All right, so we need a little bit of size. Try to get this chat to pop. I lost the chat completely. It's disappeared. Has <laughs> it? It's just 
I'm, what are you doing? I'm having more computer trouble. Well, at least this one's working. Oh, a little bit of silence. It's just a bare minimum in there. Uh, Robert says, uh, Robert of the Buckwood Variety says, uh, one of mine has just moved back home at the age of 45, and I don't have a say in it. Yeah. Hmm. I get that. I've got one at home who's, who has no intentions of leaving at all, ever. You'll be able to look after you in your old age, Brian. He will. He made, he made dinner this evening. He's on holiday well, for a week. Good. So he made dinner this evening. He's a good lad. I think <laughs> he's a good lad. The, Rob the Prof says, uh, I quite like the idea of your kids emigrating. FaceTime's a marvellous thing. <laughs> Gone but not forgotten, Rob. Is that what you're right, eh? <laughs> yeah. I can't be doing with the drama anymore of young people. Too much drama. Pete says, your other computer is spread all over my dining room table. Oops. <laughs> yeah, oops. That's a bad. Thanks, Pete. Ah, look who's appeared. William Kenny, did you just wake up or what? I mean, where <laughs> have you been? We've been on, we've been on the air for nearly an hour. I don't know. Shocking performers like Kenny. <laughs> so called friends, eh? Good evening, William. He said he had a few things to do the day right now. Now, William, what do you think about the snowman hat? Oh, What's your take she's, on it? She's away again. <laughs> she's determined to get me into trouble this evening. I don't really care. It's so by Brian, he's 48. Yeah, yeah I know that feeling, buddy. It's all right, though. 48. Your math is what, 30 something? 30 or 30, 31 in January, I think he is. Yeah, but that's not old. Just slightly less than, slightly more than half as old as me, half as young as me. I'll rephrase that. Maybe he's almost, he's almost as half my age. That might be bad. <laughs> Alex says, mine left and then the mother moved in. Not sure who's more demanding. <laughs> I'd rather the kids back. Says, I'd rather the kids says, back. Oh, uh, yeah. Mm. Well, <laughs> well, that's good. So is that the mother law you're talking about? I'm watching you, Steve. <laughs> William says, thanks for the lovely welcome, everyone. With the heavily waste of sarcasm, I'm sure. <laughs> Um, right the boy says, Brian, we need to see this hat. There is no hat. I haven't made it yet. What do you mean you need to see it? <laughs> tomorrow. Boy, tomorrow. <laughs> Brian has said tomorrow. Roy's always jumping the gun, isn't he? He don't listen. He needs to listen to what people say. <laughs> <laughs> and David, what he says, get you in trouble, Brian, as if you need the help. <laughs> no, I definitely don't. I can get myself into plenty of trouble. Brian's only 62, what a sprog. I'm only 26 on. Don't care what it looks like from your side, but I still think I'm 26. Think, think. Well, it is how you feel, isn't it? Or who you feel. Mm -hmm. How's this going, Steve? Can we get a closer look at that, no? Oh, wait a minute, I can't see. I'll see it on the bigger picture, I'm sorry, just because I'm looking at it. No, it's all right. So, question is, what are we going to put over it? What colour glitter do you want? Gold? Oh, don't all just shout at once. Well, we're thinking it's a house. Oh, oh, no, I can, I can hear want, it. Want, you, you want us to the side? Okay. Um, so, I have... Over, yeah, red. Silver goes with that's red. Like a greeny, goes with that's like a greeny red. Okay. That's like a peacocky blue silver. That'll do, that'll do. That's green. 
Yeah. Goldie Copper. It's quite a nice colour. <laughs> Roth Prof oh. says, Well, he's been busy posting my bowl today, so leave him alone. <laughs> Lucy's had silver. Silver? You always want something I ain't got. <laughs> well, gold goes, doesn't it? We're right. He says, Brian will make that. It's only been a couple of years. That Michelle one is so impatient. What do you reckon that one? You reckon that one? Gold and gold with the red. I think he's, no, was it gold and no, gold and green, he said. Oh, no. That one. That's got like a bit of green, bit of gold, bit of red in it. Right, that'll do. Yeah, I'll that'll do. I'll do. Please hit the thumbs up, everyone, says Barry from the old wood creations. Hey, Barry. And Robert of the Brookwood says, uh, multicolour would be good. Graham Hint says gold. Gold. Gold it is. Gold. Gold finger. He's the man. And, uh, yeah, the one Brian said. Says Lucy. <laughs> No, it's, that's uh, yeah. Colin Tunley says yes, that looks good. What's that brush that you've got? Peacocky blue. That's what Lucy said. Yeah, that's, that's what I said. The peacocky blue one. It's my makeup brush, Joe. It yeah, like I need a, a I, I need a set of those. Here's a makeup brush. Yeah. It's my weekend one. Your weekend makeup brush. Yeah. Well, it's Friday night right now. Putting on your kinky boots, Sue. So. Sorry, Joe. We've been putting on your kinky boots, so. What makes you think I ain't got them on? Well, I didn't look. Spirit, wind, woodstone, and burn. Hey, Heather. Heather. Good afternoon, Heather. What? No plum glitter, says Pete. <laughs> uh, and Graham Hen says, or he could do black and yellow. <laughs> Well, this black and yellow keeps going back. I can, I, I, again, that's the wrong channel. <laughs> so we'll put that back in the tub, ready for another day. Yeah. You know, these pots are expensive, aren't they? worked out 49p each. Lucy wants to know, Steve, do you become Stephanie at the weekend? No. No, not Stephanie. Stephanie. Oh, look at that. And apparently Roy is very, very what disappointed. Is what is it? Well, I can't quite see what it is, to be fair. Oh. It's a symbol. It's a damask ah, symbol. Just sim Let me just uh, get them off and all. I get my makeup brushes from B&M. Okay. So be quite a nice... moment. There might be an actually actually a nice sale in uh, the B and M and down Patrick because it's been flooded for the last four days. Yeah, you've just got to make sure what your bag's dry. Well, if it's up on the shelf, they'll not be able to sell anything. It's in the shop. Be, and it's been on the bottom shelf, so there's about under about two feet of water. There's the hedgehog. Did you see it? Yeah, I saw the hedgehog. Yeah. You can't see that, really, can you? Uh, no, not really. Turn it a wee bit, rotate it a wee bit, do we? Try and get a glance of it better. No. Can't really see it. See, see that one better. See, see that see. one better. See if I can yeah, you can, yeah. Zoom in a wee bit, maybe. Nope. That wasn't a zoom, see? You moved the oh, whole no. camera. Yeah, I know, but I have to. All right, all right. I'll see what you're doing. Yeah, that's better. Let me see it now. Yeah. So. I think that's quite pretty. That one, that one, I reckon there's a bit of tape in there. No, maybe not. So I just need to dry that off, really. Gentle so it's... Blow with the heat, a gentle blow with the heat gun? Yeah, I think so. And not the flame torch. <laughs> just... Lucy says, Joe, I haven't watched that film for ages. What film? Goldfinger. Do, do, do. So what I could do while that's drying off, I suppose, I could do the thing you want, I suppose. You could. This is this is what we've all been waiting for. Steve's going to make a finale with a skew. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <maybe. laughs> you should be on a stage, sunshine. <laughs> Oh, 
All right, so let's put it on a back camera. So, William Kenny says he's really nice. William Kenny is obviously trying to make up for being late. He says, "Looks great, Steve." So, just see the little bit of That's gold. That's better. Yeah. Can I? It's nice. Yeah. It's a good job. Doesn't like away. So we just got to find a good job. Oh, find a bit of boots. Find a bit of wood now. It's film. Kinky boots. Boots even. Kinky boots even. Says Lucy. It's not wide enough. Not wide enough. Chances with that work, says our uh, Mike. Is this is this episode called Pimp at My Pomegranate? <laughs> Pimp what? Pimp at My Pomegranate. Oh, oh dear, oh dear, Mike. You're a star. Pomegranate. Pomegranate. You know what pomegranate is? Yeah, I know. What pomegranate. Who's pressing the hundred mark? I don't know. Who keeps doing that? I bet you that's Lucy Bundy Row at that. I bet you. Mm. Almost guaranteed. Yeah. That's Lucy says that's money. very, that's very pretty, Steve. Thanks, Lucy. Right, let's get this piece of African blackwood here. Oh, he's making a funny little like African blackwood. Signy expense. Ah, it's getting near Christmas, isn't it? Push the boat mm -hmm. out a little. And I've just got my £7.65 YouTube payment, so damn the expense. Oh, hang the expense, is right. That's about how much that piece of African blackwood would cost you. What's a tenner? So Lucy's, yeah. Lucy, Lucy's, pro Lucy's, Lucy's protesting your innocence. I think it is you, Lucy. Right, so... wondering how I'm going to hold that. Because as soon as I take that out, that's going to wobble about, isn't it? I'll put it, put, put it in the jaws in the square. Why have you not... Because the bit of wood's too small. And you oh, okay. Might put me a bit of a chuck on it because I've got more grip for the centre in it. How big is a piece of wood? Only about 20 mil square. Oh, right, okay. I think you're doing Joss. Um, I will do, but I've got to change them all, haven't I? You need a spare chuck for your dome jaws then, do you? Well, I've got a set of pin jaws up there, but I've got to change them as well, so. Oh, goodness me. Need to buy some more chucks then, Steve? No, freeze enough, freeze enough. Can you use one at a time? No, never, <laughs> never. Three is never enough, sorry. How many have you got, Brian? Um, five. Six. All right, this has got a bit more grab and power in the middle. <laughs> Pete from Trusted Tree says, do you really need to use African blackwood, seeing as how you're going to gold leaf it? I'm not going to gold leaf it, don't you? He keeps with stupid comments like that. You can put him on stop. <laughs> <laughs> Sunday expense, throw another tear leg on the fire. Says Robert Brockwood. <laughs> Other Robert. All right. That's better. Ben says, I didn't know they did classy hardwoods like African blackwood in Norfolk. Norfolk? I did, mate. It's like anything. It's like all them people in Suffolk. They're all, that's it all imported. Right. So I need to measure that. Where's my vernier? So that hole is 20.5 millimetres. So I need to put a First things first. <coughs> Twenty point five mil. Ten on the bottom. Can you switch to overhead, Steve? I can do. That's Alex the wood butcher says, Oh dear, I'm feeling a bit overboard with my thirteen chucks. <laughs> <laughs> so you should be. Wow. I will return forthwith. Get this to the size 
of all hell. It suddenly got very warm in my office. You didn't turn radiator off. <laughs> did I did. Oops. Stop it, Steve. I'm realising. Chuck, chucks are a bit like tape measures. You just collect them. And never be able to find them. Same as pencils. Yeah. <laughs> This ain't really wide enough as bear wood. I was thinking that when you said it was only 20 mil across, you want that 25 mil down. Ben saying he's got seven, Ruby saying she's got eight. <laughs> uh, but it ain't really wide enough, I need to get it wide a bit. 21 mil no. I need. That's... Lucy said she's never heard the term Skag Vegas. Skeg Vegas? You never heard of Skeg Vegas? Let me see. Where have you been all your life? Yeah, exactly. I mean, I'm not even from England and I've heard of it. Twenty-three mil, how do you? That's a bit bigger. How big's your hole in your barbell? Twenty point five. 28.5 millimetres. Roy right, the boy said, uh, this is before you change your mind, he says, uh, since you're using blackwood, you could always thread chase it for storage after Christmas as you watch Terry's demo at the club, Steve. Oh, dear, I don't know why I'm friends with some people. Right, Roy the boy's always trying to get you into trouble, isn't he? Oh, no. He's almost as bad as me. Darkest, deepest vulture. Yeah, okay, Lucy. Alright, 20.5. And Skag Vegas is a, a, a new town for uh, Ruby as well. It must be right, you're from Canada. Yeah. I live in Scarborough and people call it Scarbados. Scarvegos. Sounds like a gangster. Scarbados. Oh, Pete suggests you could do a two stage final to bring it down to uh, 20.5 down to 6 or 10 mil. Huh? 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 Confused from Britain to Confused.com Mark at Tonagraph Craft says he only has four chucks but he only really uses two Well that's a good price Yeah two uh, one pound twenty each and do about two fin nails each It's not bad at all is it? No it's not Oh split Oh my giddy arm, I give up. Don't give up. Careful, Steve. You're not a quitter. Careful, Steve, that's a screw you've got. <laughs> <laughs> right, the boy says, it's just good advice, Brian, I'm not troublemaking. It's cracked a bit out of it there, look. Oh, goodness Aww. sake. How deep it is. You're always trouble making, right? We're watching you. Well, it's going to go for tonight, that's for sure. And then I'll make another one for it. Oh, Wayne, the big footage is in. Hello, Wayne. Hi, Wayne Wayne. and Valerie. How you doing? And Valerie, yes, of course. Oh, Wayne's here, Val, not be far behind. It's a nice finish, that is. That's a pity the thing's not finished. That's it. That's the, that's the finial, mate. Oh, that's the finial. Oh, that's okay. it. Well, there you go. <laughs> Don't get excited. It's a bit of a blunt finial. <laughs> but it'll do. Yeah. 
Let's get a good finish. I'm stopping here. <laughs> well, let me just sharpen up the spindle gouge. I thought you were going to see skew then. No, some stupid boy. Skew. Yeah. Stupid oh. boy, mate. All right. I only get one done tonight. I ain't going to get both of them done. But we'll get hey, one done. Says, Don't give up, Steve. I never the other day you saw. You have one long finial, one short finial? Yeah. I am. I am. I'll just get rid of some of this over here. Mm -hmm. So are you going to use gold thread to hang the, the barble up? Gold thread? Yeah. I don't know, Joe. Got a boot oh, lace. Thanks. Got a bootless, oh, yeah. So tacky. Close, ah, close enough. All this effort. Close enough. Yes, when? What days are you going to Harrogate? Uh, ben Jam says, is anyone watching Cindy tomorrow? Um, no, I'm not. I think Pete is. Yeah, I think Pete is as well. He mentioned it yesterday. He was covering for my life. That's tomorrow, isn't it? It is, yeah. I forgot all about it, actually. I should really go and join that. I think Pat Carroll's got an IRD at the weekend. He has, yeah. Meet the Turner thing, isn't it? Oh, I didn't look into the details. I just thought he I saw it. His... He, he does one every week. Meet the Turner. All oh, right, okay. Well. Wow. I'm going to be twice a month or something, I can't remember. Wayne said Saturday and Sunday if I'm well enough. Yeah, he's, uh, Wayne's struggling at the moment, isn't he? Lucy says, Wayne, have you not been well? Might be something you can talk about when you meet up. Mm -hmm, indeed. I think there's a list. <laughs> Everybody in the chat's holding their breath here, I think. Oh, well, I am. Almost. Almost. Yeah, I was just thinking it's such a small tool and I was just looking at... Have you been talking to my wife again? Oh, uh, here we go. <laughs> I was just thinking of how slow... That's because I'm from Norfolk, Joe. How <laughs> slow the cut is. Um, mm. Rob says, I'm off to the NEC with Mrs. Prof tomorrow. Crafty show's on, but... Uh, it's more wool and cakes than wood but I've got to keep her sweet ah, well done Rob the cakes are do good fella good fella so I just need to do something on this end 
Get rid of some of this first, I suppose. Mm. I think she's finished the end with a really small little sphere. So it's not too pointy. It's quite a popular end, isn't it? A sphere. Mm hmm. We're suggesting take them to Harrogate for a treat, Lucy. Quite right, too. Yeah, they sell cakes and buns. They do. Bacon butties. Still use of a spindle cage. Pardon? <laughs> Rob says, don't forget the captive ring. <laughs> Uh-oh. This is always dangerous. Right, this is that tiny little bit at the end. You've, you've done all made all that effort on it. And this is the crunch time. Literally. Yeah. Ooh, a wee pointy bit. It's got a little um, spearhead on it. Yeah, so when it drops on your head. <clears throat> yep. Sticks into your leg. You're right, it Charlie. It hurts. Oh. <laughs> right, let's get it sanded up quickly. Before everybody falls asleep. No, oh, nobody falls asleep. We're all just in, uh, engrossed in watching that. That was good. It was interesting. It was. Nicely done, too. So what grit's that then? This is 120. How far up are you going to go? 240. Okay. <laughs> I like them pointed enough so my mum would have said, you love somebody's eye out with that. <laughs> Mind you, she said that about most things. Yeah, my mother, my mother did too. Every time we made a bow and arrow. Or a bow and arrows. Just go around the back garden stealing the canes to make a boat to make arrows with. Were you a good shot? Yeah. I'm rubbish. I used to do field archery a long while ago. I tried target mm. target archery, that was boring. Field archery is, is much more interesting. Uh, Rob says, I did my sleeping before I came in. That's why I was late. That's okay. Oh, we're, we're used to you sleeping. It's okay. <clears throat> What's this about solar system going in the National Space Centre in Leicester? What's this, Lizzie? That'll be something enjoyable. Yeah, and uh, the new... Uh... Ruby said, very nice, Dave. Sorry, I have to go and make supper. Thank you very much, Ruby. You have a nice supper, Ruby. Yeah, definitely. Thanks for coming Take in care, and Ruby. watching. Appreciate it. Lucy's asking, what colour are you going to do the finial, Steve? She's asking on behalf of Andy. I don't know. I was going to leave it natural. <gasps> oh, natural. Well, that would be okay. Nice red ball with a natural finial. Just... Um, you can finish it with oil or finish it with uh, sandy seal or Hampshire sheen. I was going to make it nice and shiny. Shiny. That would do. So if I have a colour, it's going to take it away from the... Uh, bauble. Me bauble. Apparently the space centre is great and the kids will love it. Go on to market yeah. again. 
Peter Trusty Trees, Trusty Trees says, <coughs> um, gold leaf, you see. <laughs> Which would require even more patience. Gold not the easiest thing to get rid of. I don't mind gold leafing, but no, not, not at half past nine. At, not half past nine at night. No. Yeah. <laughs> the static to take time. on it is just. You right. just have to take your time with it and do it right. You can't really rush it in that light. Bit of sand and see you know? As he snaps it, as he wipes the sand and see you know? Gives me an idea what I'm going to make next week. Oh, I haven't got a computer next week. I'm this, going to have to uh, try and film something on my phone. For the hashtag week. Mm-hmm. I think it. So, it's hashtag week, remember? So it's hashtag... Do you want to put it in the chat, Brian, please? Mm-hmm. Hashtag Christmas bubble. So if you can get your photographs over to me from two weeks today, then... Um, we will get them launched. So, well, shame about that. I think that. you say you spell bubble. Hashtag Christmas bubble. Cheers. Ooh. Yes. K. K. N. T. S. So, just another code. There's an ampersand on this computer. Is the what? The ampersand. There it is. That's not that's not SK crap, that's SK forget of this. Yeah. Yes. Rob Rob the Professor says I enjoy gold leafing on the dining room table. Oh I bet your missus don't. Lol. <laughs> I was gonna say. I bet someone else doesn't. Alright, so just for Joe. Because we know she's been gagging all night to sing. Oh, come on, give a break. And jo- and Glyn loves it. Glyn can't sleep properly at night unless he hears Joe sing to him. <laughs> so this is to help Glyn sleep tonight. Well, yeah, maybe. Send him to sleep, you mean. Hands that feel pity can be soft as your face. With light brown, Yorkshire gritty. Yorkshire gritty. And there we go, people. I think I'll bring Lucy on as an earworm next time and get Lucy to sing. What are you trying to say, like? Nothing. Just quickly, while we're talking, while we're doing, waiting for this. Uh, Maker's auction last month or last oh, week yeah. even. We had a donation after I think it was on Sunday actually. Mm-hmm. Um of two hundred and odd quid someone donated to make it up to three thousand pound. Wow. Absolutely fabulous. So well thank done, you. So folks. David Vaughan his name was. So thank you, David, if you ever watch oh, us. I know David, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so David if, was in the chat. Uh, oh, was he? It was. It was, yeah. So thank yeah, you, David, David, for that thank ma- you. for that thank donation. You. Very much appreciate it. So we're now at three thousand and ten pounds. So um And we're not closing it till the end of December. December. Yep. So That's maybe case. so we might do something else, just a little raffle or something, just to see if we can boost it a little bit. Christmas raffle or something. Three thousand is an excellent figure, guys. And I appreciate every one of you who made the effort to come into the auction and uh, did bid on pieces and everybody else who has actually supported the thing. Even yep, if it's just by sharing it out on social media. Yep. Thank you all. Without yep. your support, the uh, no, the not. makers the the makers auction wouldn't happen. So. Absolutely amazing. Oh, yep. Fabulous. The British Art Foundation will be pleased with that. Definitely. Oh yeah. And don't forget, we've got the t-shirts to add into that as well. Yep. Um, so there'll be a bit more from the t-shirts. And if you haven't got a t-shirt, t-shirt, uh, Pete's, uh, Pete's, no, even, Steve's even. 
Steve T. Springs uh, and get your t-shirt, make us t-shirt. It's all good. Excellent. That is uh, brilliant. So every penny helps? It does. Rob the Prof says, my dog just fell off the sofa after the howl, I mean signing. Yeah. I wasn't supposed to read that one out, was I? Well, woodwork. Intermediate said, something worked me up. What happened? Yeah. Cheeky I bit. Mean, Some people are just far too cheeky, you know. <laughs> um... Lucy says, Steve, Andy is more than happy to put another piece in. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. I'll have a word with the chaps and uh, see, chap, what, chap see what we'll see what we can come up with. Mm -hmm. um, I think we, I, I'd like to just to give it a little bit of a boost, really. But we'll see. We'll see. But thank you for the offer. Indeed. Right, so a little bit of Ampshire Sheen. High gloss wax just to finish this off. Not going to put any on the tenon because obviously we want to be gluing that into the end of our do for what we call it thingy bob. Oh, it'd be a shocking waste of uh, diesel, a shocking waste of uh, I can't go see a diesel there, but uh, what members wax? It's just going to disappear. What is the wax? Mm. You're never going to see that wee bit again ever once it's glued in. Grandpa Jim's in. Hi, Jim. Good evening. Hi, Jim. He says, he says, I'm a little late. You're all right, Jim. No problem, mate. Better late than never, Jim. Thank you for coming in. Uh, Lane, Lane of the Woodfoot, Bigfoot, says the singing was great. Was they drowned out the noisy fireworks? <laughs> yeah. Alan Gibbs says he's more than happy to do something for your cause, Steve. Thank you, Alan. Thank you, Alan. Thank you very much. We'll, we'll remember all you guys volunteering for next year. <laughs> Write the names down quick. Yeah. Quick. <laughs> all right, so we're just going to part this off now. Going to try and part that just behind. Beat of a Twisted Free says, hashtag Christmas bubble. Why not have them sent in? And auction them off on FaceTube. Mm. Now. Good idea. I wonder if could we do a idea. fancy Christmas. I wonder if I do a fancy Christmas bubble and stick it up on eBay and see if it makes any money. Hmm. <laughs> try that, maybe. Need to sharpen that, That's what, Pete, that's what Pete did last year. Made a few pounds. Right, so that's that for you. I'm not going to do the other one. Ooh. I'm not going to do the other one tonight. Just, uh, let's, get in, let's get it on a bit now. So get, rid, bit. get rid of that bit over there. Shot. So, um, what camera are we on? This camera. It's so let's, let's put it on this camera here. So, there is my thing Yeah, that's actually uh, quite nice. Just lift it up a little bit, just a little bit. I dropped it. Never guess. Have you broken it? Have you no, broken it? No, 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 no. JP Woodworks in. Hi, JP. Hi, JP. How are you Hi, doing, bud? So, obviously, there's the finial, so it flows into that nicely. It so, does. Can't see it, can you? I've got a bit of wood underneath that. Oh. Good enough. A bit of wood underneath. Oh. Oh, there. there we go. Oh, dropped it twice. Dropped it again. <laughs> <laughs> So drop a lot of his bike. That's it. That's. <laughs> so with the uh, smashing with the glitter, what I would do yeah, is Sunday. once it's uh, dry and the and the thing before I glue the finials in, I think I'd lacquer. I would part it, clean it up, and I'd lacquer the uh -huh. uh, the bauble so it glitters, shines a little bit. Oh, it's just a bit more shiny. Yeah, I a think little it bit. Looks that. So yeah, it's quite nice. Yeah. So then the, the top finial, I'd make a little bit shorter. Yeah. Yes, for sure. Yeah. But like I say, that needs another one because there's a chip out of there. But, but that's how you get, it goes. The drift. you get the drift. We you do. do. Very good, Steve. I like it. 
It is a nice bit of work. So that's hashtag um, Christmas, Christmas bauble. bauble. So like I said, um, uh, as always, it's your interpretation, how you mm. want to uh, do it, what colours, what shape, and all the other stuff to go with it. So uh, I look forward to seeing everybody's interpretation, as always. Put that back over there, out of the way. Put that back in the cupboard. And we'll do a YouTube shot, I think, rather just on my phone, rather than trying to do a live or something. So, yep, um, that is that started off around about 90 mil. Um, do you know what? I can't find a primitive tape for love the money. <laughs> I had a tidy up there, yeah. I know. Bloody builder, can't find yeah, it. Oh, there's one. That's... Builder and can't find the tape. I've got that many tapes laying around. They're all in the same place. <laughs> that's why uh, I'm missing. That's, right. that's what you get for building my damn new drawers and stuff. Yeah. Can't find anything now. Right, so the actual height of the finished piece is about 190, but we've got another 50 or 60 mil coming off of that. And the actual mm -hmm. width of the bauble is 80, 86 millimetres. So we took a little bit off the width, but not too much. So it's not quite perfectly round. But it's close enough. Or well, sphere, should we say? Not a perfect sphere. But it's uh, mm. close enough. It's shaped like the Earth. What, Mother Earth? Yeah, it's not a perfect sphere. No. Right. Let's, uh... What's that? Steve Laver's getting into Christmas spirit, ready? <laughs> ready, ready, hot. <laughs> Right, let's bring you guys back. No, don't do that. Oh, no, don't do that. So, what? <laughs> right, yeah, so um, hashtag Christmas bauble. If you can get the pictures over to me by, let's have a look at a date. Two weeks today will be the 17th of November. That's correct. That's correct. And I will do the montage on the 19th. 19th, yeah, 19th, yeah, fine for the 19th, it's 26 I can't do, yeah, so I'll, I'll do a montage on the 19th, so yeah, so Brian, every, every, everybody in this chat should be making a bubble for that, everybody, so there's no excuse, so there's there's a really, no easy excuse project. really easy project, nice and easy, you haven't got to make it as fancy if you just want to do a round bauble and decorate it, that's totally fine, yep. hasn't got to have fingers yep. on it, haven't got to have anything on it, hasn't got to have all the texturing on it, yep. you can have just whatever a basic, you want. whatever yep. you want, but all I will say is try and hollow some of the weight out of it, even if you just drill a, a force a bit through the middle to remove some of the weight, because if not, it'll be a bit heavy. Yeah, it could be a Christmas yeah, bobble on a Christmas stand. Bobble on a stand. It could need be. It need hold. It could be. doesn't have to hang on a, doesn't Christmas, have to tree. Hang on a Christmas tree. It's true. It's true. It's very true. So anyway, that's the challenge. No, sorry, not challenge. That's the hashtag week. Yep. Yep. Colin says, Nate, Colin everyone, says, Nate, everyone, how to get some of you, how to get some of you, Colin, good man, Colin. Right. Hi, Colin. So, anyway, have a go. He's all there. He's Send all the there. photographs to me at skcrafts at btnet.com. Uh, look forward to seeing what you guys do, as always. Um, it's always mm -hmm. nice to see what mm -hmm. you guys come up with, because some of you people come up with totally different ideas to what I have, which is good, because not everybody needs to be the same anyway. It needs to be different. That's what keeps it. Brian is echo. Echoing. Brian is 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 echoing. 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 Shouldn't be now. Shouldn't be now. Not noticed oh. that at all. I never noticed it. I can't hear it. Shouldn't be now. Shouldn't be now. Yeah, see, Andy, just don't, don't let me Sorry, run you down Brian has an echo. Trevor, where did you get the stick, glitter stickers from? These are from Hampshire, Hampshire Sheen. Uh, Martin is now, these were before Martin, the before Martin slot. He's now re. Uh, reintroduced them so they're the stickers that's what you get in the kit uh, mm -hmm. you get the negative and the positive and also you get some uh, um, whatever paper you call it I can't what I call it paper you stick onto them to peel off and apply it I can't remember what you call it um, and you can reuse them I won't be using, reusing them because obviously I've covered them in size but if you use airbrushing then you can reuse them. Just take them off gently. But they are a little bit fiddly to um, 
they are a little bit fiddly to actually try and reuse. I've kept those ones that you might be able to use for something else, but we'll see. But they just get out of vinyl. Um, I, I know he does different types. Now he does leaves, butterflies. He's also got some Christmas ones now as well. So um, go mm-hmm. over and check him out. His website's up and running now, so go over and check Martin's website out. Yeah. And if you do want to buy from Martin's website, you can use my affiliation link at the bottom in the description, which will give um, a little bit of help to the channel. Just a little bit. Don't cost you any extra. You get it for the same price, nope. but it just helps us ambassadors to uh, we make a little bit, not massive amount. We make a little bit out of it, which just comes to the channel to help fund the channel. So thank you. Yes. Uh, thank you, Barry. <laughs> Yeah, Lucy did actually ask a question. <coughs> how are we going to recognise people at Harrogate? Bearing in mind, there's a lot of people in the chat. I look like this. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, no, we. Steve, Steve looks like that. He's about six foot I four. I look like this. So you'll not miss him. He's a big lad. If you recognise so us, in the chat that you don't see. If you if you, if you recognise <laughs> if you recognise us, come over and say hello. Nobody's going to knock you, you or, or be rude to you. We don't know who you are because obviously we don't know. We can't see you, but you know who we are. So if you see us walk around Harrogate, come up, say hi. Say hi. Yeah, come up. Come hello. up, say hello. Sh- know you, Lucy. Shake your hand. Yeah, Lucy, you can just go the other way. No, I'm joking, Lucy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we met you. We've already met Lucy. We met, you, we, you met you. we met Lucy. We don't, yeah, we, we don't need to do that one again. <laughs> I'm joking. Apparently, Hilly is going to be carrying a giant bag of potatoes. I don't know. I, I'm <laughs> Well, the bag will be big, isn't it? Pete, Pete Toasted Free says, I'll be dis- disguised as Brian. <laughs> but yeah, if you if you walk around Harrogate and you see us, come up to us and say hello. Because like I say, we don't know who you are. So, Right, I think we're going to go. Good job, Steve. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. Just saying a little bit very different. Nice. Like I say, I normally do it on the Sunday because it's the wife's birthday. I have to be, you know, at least once a year, I have to be nice <laughs> to her. Yeah. Like his birthday, you mean? Is that you mean? Yeah, 50, oh, you're looking after her. 59 she is this year, bless her. 59? Yeah. She... You're for a beating. You're for a beating when you get indoors, Steve. I'm going oh. to message, message her now. You're too late, she knows. <laughs> 59 she is. She's had a good life. The, the oil of you layers worked up to a point. Oil of you layers. <laughs> Stop digging. Stop digging. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh dear. All right. Oh dear. Oh, what's up there? Oh, well, I'm there. Right. Good right, night, everybody. Thank you very much, everybody. Steve's, Steve's got good night, button, everybody. Thank, thank you very much for coming over. I won't see you Sunday um, because I will be eating my lunch. And uh, I won't see you on Sunday either. I will, um, I will see you the following week on Friday. Um, Brian. We don't know if Brian's going live on Thursday. Is Pete covering on Thursday? If... No, because he'd be at Harrogate, wouldn't he? I don't know. what. I, I have no idea what's happening. No, Thursday's Harrogate. So. Right, I'll cover then, because I'll be here if you want. All right, you go ahead and do that. So I will cover Thursday night, because I won't be here Friday. So I'll cover Thursday night, as Peter be in Harrogate as drunk as a skunk. So. <laughs> no, oh, no, no, what Pete says is Thursday is the practice Oh. Ah. Uh. You see? It's practice for it's practice for Friday and Saturday. Pete's just put you can recognise Steve at Harrogate here being the plaster cast. <laughs> <laughs> right then guys, have a great week. If I don't see you before, I will see you Thursday night if Brian's not back up and running. Um so other than that, have a great weekend. Take care, speak to you soon, and bye for now. Bye. Say night guys. Bye, bye guys. Bye everybody. Good night. I'm a bit of that's all folks.